Okay, we are recording. Is it okay, Jen, if we start or do you want us to wait for her? No, please go ahead. I, I emailed her, but I am um, I am also texting her. Okay, uh, I some folks have a uh, uh, 10 o'clock uh, top of the hour thing, so I want to uh, make sure we give them time to get to their 10 o'clock. Um, good morning. Um, uh, calling a special meeting of the St. Louis County Human Relations Commission to order its Friday, February 25 at 932, Karen Oresti uh, chair. Um, if I may take the role, um, I did receive a note this morning earlier uh, from Commissioner Ahmad that she will be unable to join us. So have noted that. Um, Commissioner DeBeer, not with us yet. Uh, Commissioner Fan. Present. Uh, Vice Chair Hall. Uh, Commissioner James. Present. Commissioner Johnson. Present. And Commissioner Pellegrini. Present. Um, and we are joined by um, uh, members of the Office of Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, Acting Director, uh, Ken Murdoch, and Administrative uh, 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 Liaison Theta Person, um, also from the County Counselor's Office, uh, Genevieve Frank, um, and our liaison to uh, the County Executive's Office for Boards and Commissions, uh, Jay Nelson. Am I forgetting anybody? I think that's all of us. We are recording. Um, let me first ask for um, a motion uh, to approve uh, the minutes from our meeting on Friday, February 11, uh, which were sent to everybody uh, with the agenda earlier last week. Do I have a motion to approve? A motion. And a second. Second. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, any um, discussion on the minutes from February 11? Uh, hearing none. Um, I, actually, yeah, I had a <clears throat> excuse me, a statement on there. I know at the last minute on the previous meeting, that was some of the things. I think it may have been a little confusion that I stated to you as the as well as the rest of the commissioners that I had some concerns about the commission, and I thought that was supposed to be noted, and I don't see it noted. Um, you know what? I'm not. Hang on a second. Where? Well, let me let me ask you this. Can we ask you to send and, and if this is appropriate to send uh, the text of what you would want included in the minutes um, and we will um, uh, table approving them and then amend them and vote uh, on them at our meeting on March 11th. Uh, right, March 11. Can we do that? That give you some time to put those notes together and add them to the minutes so we have that properly noted. Is that a question directly for me, or is that a question for yeah, you? Are you okay? Are you okay with that? Would that give you enough time if we ask you to send that material and then we'll amend it and vote formally on March 11? That's fine. It's just a simply a, a one liner. Who who does or who actually constructs this? Is this Mr. Is this Jay Nelson who constructs the minutes? And yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, Vice Chair, I'll have uh, that included into the minutes, and as Chairwoman said, we'll table approving the minutes for today and approve it at the March 11 meeting with that add on. Okay, that's fine. Thank that's you. Fine. Thank you. Um, uh, we have nothing formal in communications um, on new business. Um, do we have uh, relative to the uh, commission's representative on the business advisory council, someone who wishes to nominate themselves or to nominate another commissioner for that position, specifically uh, Janice Harris, who had been a member of this commission until um, the fall of last year, was the uh, BAC uh, represent, was the HRC representative on the BAC. And because she has resigned, we need to replace her. Uh, I might be in. Oh, am I muted or not muted? No, we can hear you. Oh, okay. I may, might or might not be interested, but I need to. I mean, my recollection is what it meets quarterly, so it's not that much of a time commitment. Correct. Correct. Um, yeah, but I think I need to just find out more details. 
All right, I will, um, number one, I will accept that self-nomination. Is there anybody else who? Um, My half-hearted self-nomination. You're, you're slightly holding back, uh, uh, but with, <laughs> with with no small amount of positivism, uh, uh, self-nomination. Is there anybody else who wishes uh, to do so? A uh, question uh, for, oh, sorry, go ahead. Who's? Oh, oh no, um, uh, Commissioner Pellegrini had a question in chat which was if our next meeting is uh, the 4th or the 11th of March. We have noticed up formally now that we are moving from the first Friday. That that was discussed a couple of months ago or, or noted that we're moving from the first Friday of the month to the second Friday of the month. So officially our next meeting will be March 11th. Okay, thank you. I thought March was an exception, so I'm wrong. No, okay, thank no, you. Try and be consistent from now on, thanks. Um, yeah, Shanette, uh, sorry, Vice Chair Hall. Um, were you able or do we know if everybody was contacted individually on the commission um, with uh, the uh, intent of probably soliciting in their um, willingness to be a part of that council? Did that happen? I think so. Oh, we talk, we, uh, I mean, my best answer for you is we did discuss it last week and then we also, uh, I think there are a couple of emails I could go back on that note that. Um, I think last uh, month was the first time we formally announced it because um, I had talked to Ms. Harris in January and got confirmation that in fact she. Had I don't moved recall on. people being contacted individually, but I do recall oh, individually. People. Yeah, that was her question. It was in the group um, emails, and then, um, right. and then on the last meeting, uh, the person in charge of the MBWE program came and answered questions. Right, Ms. Jeffrey. Yeah. No, so not individually. Is that required? I don't know if that's required by ordinance in terms of the nominations process. No, I was just asking because there were a couple of people who weren't on the, the call. And so I didn't know there were further discussions on it seemed like there were more like elaborate discussions that occurred during the last meeting um, that were not related during the verbiage like of the email. So I was curious if anybody had personally reached out to some of the ones who were not or unable to make it to the last meeting to have a conversation with them or a conversation about the council with them. Uh, not that I am aware. If I mean, there's there's not right now an urgency on this. I'd like to do it sooner rather than later, um, but we can roll it over uh, as well if that's fine with everybody to March 11 and uh, do a more formal uh, uh, communication with commissioners about whether they'd be interested in. Frankly, to the extent that uh, Commissioner Fan is self nominated but needs more information, uh, we can uh, give her time to gather some more of that information as well. Everybody good with that? Yeah, I think that makes sense. I also think that on the last meeting, which again, not everyone was on where um, our chair had left it was, if you are interested, you should reach out to um, Director Jeffries to find out more details, which I have frankly not done in the last two weeks, so. Right. Um, okay, we'll look forward to putting that again, if you would, Jay, on the agenda for uh, March 11. And we'll follow up more specifically in between Okay. Um, I wanted to uh, note under new business that the substitute bill number one for bill 156, which had been introduced by Ms. Clancy, uh, was formally passed on uh, Tuesday at the council meeting on Tuesday. This is a bill that extends a uh, non-discrimination uh, protections um, beyond where it already existed, but across the board to um, a series of places within county ordinances, including our own, where the language was not consistent with the law. Um, and so um, I didn't, uh, you have a copy of the substitute bill there. You can see how comprehensive it is. Um, and um, I think, at least for our part of it, that we are. Um, appropriately updated now and consistent. Uh, so I just wanted to take note of that. If you want to take some more time uh, beyond to review that bill, 
Um, and I also think Ms. Clancy uh, put out a press release. Uh, she got a lot of help uh, from Missouri Promo and also uh, got some follow up uh, feedback from uh, the human rights campaign nationally, which was uh, very positive. So I just want to take note of that. Um, our main discussion is on approving um, this draft uh, report still officially of the um, Human Relations Commission. I am pleased to say that it is the very first time um, we are formally submitting an annual report um, because of, of uh, the structures that are now in place in order to do this. I do need an approval from um, this, this uh, commission to send this report forward. Um, and um, again, it is technically in draft form, but it would be presented next week to the council to share not every detail of everything this commission has discussed, but key issues addressed over 2021. Uh, Jay, do you have a comment? Yes, uh, so just to clarify, this report um, will be Would submitted you? by 12 noon today. That's the so be final. Okay. Uh, thank you. You're right. It has to be in order to make it uh, to the council agenda for Tuesday night. Um, the, um, as I said, it doesn't cover every detail. I did add, I did include some of the 2020 information um, because sort of the middle of 2020 was when we had started to be more formal and consistent about meeting, about structures. Um, and um, so I thought that uh, information needed to be included. And, um, uh, okay, I think Mr. Commissioner DeVere is coming on. Um, and um, but mostly it is it is mostly 2021 information. Um, uh, do I have a motion uh, to approve and a second? Um, if I may, I guess I'll have a comment about that one. Um, I am under. I do understand that it has to be turned in. Uh, today to be submitted on there. And so um, for Tuesday, I apologize. So if this is what we have to submit, then that is fine. Um, I did send an, uh, one of the emails to Chairwoman Aristy about a couple things that I thought was missing. Uh, she did uh, advise me to just include it um, in the draft. However, uh, I was unable to do that at the time, uh, just from having to do, um, from being on vacation and having to uh, with the type of job that I have, but that is no excuse. So I wouldn't mind actually noting those things um, right here uh, on the meeting as well, some things that I thought was lacking. So I do understand that it wasn't more of a month by month um, discussion or report of what we've done every month, but it was some things that I wanted to highlight just so I can let the rest of the commissioners know some things that I um, thought that would, should be important to include. So I thought it was important to kind of note that since we've had commissioner or former commissioner uh, Bob Cohn, who was on there for so long, <laughs> I thought it was important to note the new board that was on here from between uh, Commissioner or Chairwoman ERC, myself, and then also um, uh, Commissioner Ahmad as well. Uh, so I thought that was important to include or just to state since it's a new board that's been had over or since a very long time. Um, I thought it was also important to kind of say how diversified the board has become than what it appeared to be initially when I first joined on. Uh, I think that's a good representation of the, the St. Louis County as a whole um, and how diverse our county is in that it, we are attempting to represent that on this actual commission. So I thought that was something as well that should have been included. Um, we did talk or I did mention, as I stated just a couple of minutes, minutes ago, why there were only some months that were mentioned and not all. And so I understand and that one of just like, hey, we're just trying to give a bit of a synopsis of all of 2021, if you will. Um, one thing that has been very uh, important to me uh, as a black woman and something that I think that this commission failed to speak up on quite a bit is when we were talking about different commissions on this report. Um, I think that it, it, it definitely should have been noted. I heard one of the most racist comments that I've heard from uh, a St. Louis County board member or commissioner, um, and that was from the fire standards, uh, the chair from the fire standards commission. So I thought that that should have been something that was noted and it wasn't noted on there. Uh, that is something that's very important uh, to me as a black person. And I, it, 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 it is something that should have been on there, my honest opinion. Um, the only other thing, 
sorry, I just came out of my email on there. Um, the only other thing that I mentioned on there as well that uh, something that was noted on the um, on the draft, uh, the whistleblower bill was mentioned and it was mentioned in the latter part of the year. And I think that it probably would have been a little bit uh, also important uh, to note that that is something that was brought up earlier in the year. Um, it was brought up in our March 2021 meeting for those of you who weren't on here. So just kind of showing, hey, this is something that was mentioned from the commission init initially or something that was, I guess we can almost even say birth from the commission of updating that earlier in the year. And now seeing the um, how it has transformed into what it is now, um, I think that is something that it should be listed in our report. Uh, but I wanted to add that on there. Like I said, I do know that it is something that has to be turned in now and it's not on there, but I wanted to make sure I went ahead and said it on this meeting. So the rest of the commissioners and the public know as well. Thank you. Um, given uh, Vice Chair Hall's comments, are there other things that uh, people feel they might have wanted to include, but just to have note for this meeting so that it is uh, on the recording and available? Um, there are a number of, of uh, additional documents besides the report that come along as um, exhibits, attachments. Um, we have not, and it's probably something to think about in the future, uh, let's say for 20, early 2023, to actually have a formal presentation of this report um, to the community. Um, and it's something to think about that would give people an opportunity um, who, who might have interest to ask questions and quest, ask questions about the report or anything else going on as we get more consistent and structured about sharing this information publicly. So it's something to think about for next year. Uh, 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 Commissioner Fan. Oh, okay. So when you say for early 2023, you mean that would be um, a public kind uh, of about the 2022, the 2022 report. report. Okay, got Correct. it. Yes. Correct. I mean, it's something to think about. I don't think it's, uh, I'm, uh, you know what? I shouldn't speak out of turn. I don't know if it's required by ordinance to do something public, but it's an option. Um, and we could do it in partnership with other county offices or community partners. Uh, there are lots of different ways, I think, to think about that. But to, to more lift up some of the things that are just too nuanced and part of internal conversation to put down, um, it might be a way to think about doing that. In future. Um, okay. Uh, uh, having included those comments in this recording and record, do I now have a motion to approve the report? So, motion. Didn't I agree with um, Commissioner Hall? Those are all good points. Um, I think that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't aware of how diverse or non-diverse the commission was, I think, before I joined. So uh, thank you for that institutional memory. Um, over the years, there have been folks who have come in and out. Um, look, this is the first time that we are, um, that we have eight confirmed members. And I think there are others in the pipeline um, who will also represent different voices, ah, welcoming uh, and noting the um, participation of Commissioner De Beer. Good morning. Good morning. Um, and so um, my hope would be that in um, 2022, we can confirm those additional members bringing us up to the 11 that were part of also the effort to expand the, um, the voices and the representation of community members as well. So. Um, uh, so I have a motion. Do I have a second to approve the report? I'll second. Is there any additional discussion just to make sure we don't leave any thoughts uh, on the table? Um, let me uh, formally call the roll on this uh, for approval. Um, uh, Commissioner De Beer, how do you vote? Uh, yay. Commissioner Fan. Okay. Commissioner uh, Vice Chair Hall. Um, I will say uh, no on this just because I think it's definitely missing some some uh, key information. 
Okay, thank you. Commissioner James. Um, I'll have to thank for this just because I wasn't a part of the full commission in 2021. Okay, Commissioner Johnson. I, I would agree. I wasn't part of um, the commission throughout the entire year. Okay, and Commissioner Pellegrini. Thank you. Same here. I wasn't part of the commission until the end of 2021. Okay, and I will vote to approve. So we have. Was that 4, 3? I'm sorry, Jay, I wasn't. I have 3 yes, uh, and uh, 1 no and 3 um, abstentions. So that effectively approves moving this report forward. Except right, because we have a quorum. Yes, I will note in the report that uh, I will note in the report at the end the vote to approve this report, um, which was it did not uh, receive approval. However, it shall be uh, submitted to the county council. But I will note in the report the um, vote from the um, members from the commission. What is the um, what is the procedure, for instance, to go well if if. Uh... Uh, Secretary Ahmad was unable to join us, then her vote can't be recorded because I think according to the rules, she needs to be present. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any, I'm unaware of any public, uh, we have an op opportunity for public comments. I'm not sure if there's anybody in the, in the uh, attending not part of this who wants to make comments before this uh, body. I have one person present in the attendees list. Uh, well, two now. I will unmute them individually to see if they have public comment. At this time, Ms. Harmon. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, I don't have a, per, a comment at this time. Councilwoman Webb's office uh, really appreciates the the diversity that is now uh, on this particular commission, and um, she's had an opportunity to review it, and she kind of shares some of the same views as um, Commissioner Hall in terms of of having a little bit more detail involved, and she looks forward to helping. Sounds good, Ms. Harmon Young. Thank you. And the other person in attendance? That person is no longer in attendance. Okay. All right, well, I wanna thank you for your participation. Um, look forward to the March 11 meeting. May I have a, mo uh, and, and in between, in, in keeping with the uh, Vice Chair Hall's um, comment, uh, I'll make sure I send an email to everybody individually and, and perhaps get a little bit more information from the chief diversity officer around the business advisory council. So you can make uh, some more thinking um, and see whether or not it, it, it is commissioner fan who, who uh, will, will follow through on her self nomination. Um, if there is nothing further, uh, motion to adjourn. Anybody? Okay. I will second and will we be will I'm sorry, be, Madam, Madam Chair. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm I, I just wanted to very quickly. I wanted to um, introduce ah. um, Portia Britt, who I think should still be on. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, Portia Britt, who is um, a panelist on the meeting, is um, one of our attorneys in the county counselor's office. And um, she, uh, starting today, is assigned to the commission to attend their meetings and advise them. Well, welcome and thank you. Uh, thank you all. Good. Oh, would you uh, like to say hello? Sure. Uh, just quickly, hi everyone. I'm excited to be working with you all. Um, my background: I used to be a St. Louis County prosecutor. Uh, then I worked in Title IX office at Maryville University, and now I'm with the County Counselor's Office. So. I'm excited to uh, have this particular uh, commission be the first one that I get to work with. So I look forward to working with you all, learning from you all, and providing any assistance where I can. Good. Thanks so much. Looking forward also.
Are you able to quickly elaborate on what that uh, relationship looks like with like what type of support are you able to provide us? Can you because I don't we are just recently starting to actually have people uh, even with uh, Ms. Frank be on here. We're just recently starting to have people uh, from the council. So can you or if you're able, can you briefly explain what your relationship with this commission looks like or what it is or how you'll you will be supporting us? Well, I, I could address that too, if I may, Madam Chair. Um, so the. Um, Sorry, um, can you speak up? Because your volume is pretty muted. So I think I caught most of what you had said previously, but for this portion, if you could think. Can, can you hear me better now? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, my headphones may have been interfering. I apologize for that. Um, so, um, under the charter, the county counselor's office is responsible for um, all of the civil conduct of all the civil law business of St. Louis County, and that includes representation of the various boards and commissions. And so, um, we are able to um, uh, attend the meetings of the commission. We can provide the um, commission legal advice upon request, um, and we can. Um, we are available um, for any type of, of legal advice that the commission thinks it would require. But we are only to ask for that legal advice outside of our meetings, correct? Because I think that's something that you said on the last one that you can't provide legal advice during the meetings. You can make your request during a public meeting. That is fine. Um, for the most part, we don't. Um, we don't provide legal advice in open meetings. So if the commission were to request, um, make a request for legal advice, um, and it is something that we can properly advise on, we would ask um, to be able to um, provide that advice in a closed session. That would be our request to you. Um, so, and we also, in a, we, uh, on an ongoing basis, we advise, um, on you know sunshine matters as well um, in order to ensure that um, the board it, the commission is complying with sunshine in its meeting notices um, its agendas that sort of thing thank you does that answer the question yeah it sounds like it it, it sounded like on a case-by-case -case basis like we can but we rather not so i, I guess yeah <laughs> i can but rather i'm sure i didn't you're fine thank you okay. Ms. Frank. all right uh, thank you, everybody. I'll second the motion to adjourn. It's 959. We'll look forward to seeing you again on March 11. Uh, thanks very much.